Hello everybody. This video is for the very beginning woodcarvers or woodcarver, hobbyist, anything you want to be I guess. This video is going to be about fake eyes. When I first started wood carving, I spent um, a lot of money on a lot of junk. Mostly when you buy these eyes, they come in, uh, I think they're like, what is it, like metric? They come in like 25 mm or 10 mm, and you don't really know what size you're getting. Um, you can see here, they're this, like this one here is real glass. And yeah, these are both real, real glass. I don't know what I got them. I've had way more than this. I don't know what happened to them, but you get ones like this that are plastic I know for a fact from proof that the plastic ones they don't do good outdoors they fade they crack and they just go to hell so I would say if you're gonna be doing a carving for outdoor and you want to use fake eyes get the glass ones don't bother with the plastic ones it's a waste of money They'll make your carving look like uh, crap years after. Um, so I think a uh, owl that I got in the spirit trails had fake eyes, and they were plastic. And they're all faded and cracked, and they just look terrible. So I suggest for the outdoor carvings, um, get the glass ones. But plastic ones I think are pretty good for indoor. But if you look at this one, like, look at the center of it. It's not, it's just not, it's just not very good. So you get what you pay for. So these are bags of those. Okay. Plastic ones. And you know, you get the ones, these are for like dolls or something, right? So before what I used to do, you see it's got the backing there. And it would have another backing inside this bag for this backing. So this thing has like a thing on it. Then this inside the bag here. So let me give you an example. I hate opening these bags. So, I'm not rushing this video. I'm just going to kind of take it easy here. I think this one's for dolls or teddy bears or whatever. So you got like your eye here. It's got a backing on it. That black thing. And then you just put it through. And it locks up on top of the teddy bear fur or whatever it is. But like, look, you can see there. It's just like... They're no good. The best eyes you're going to get is, um, what are those places called that do, uh, animal fur and stuff animals? Like, if you, if you got, if you have a, a cougar that you shot and you want to get it stuffed, um, what's, I'll think of the name. I can't think, friggin' think of it right now. But that's where you'll get the real eyes from, are those sites. So this is a glass eye. Where are all these little ones? Yeah. So I just bought these ones on Amazon. Because this, you guys, most you know, in the winter time, I do mostly uh, Dremel carvings. So I'm gonna do some funny animals this year and stuff. So this this package, I just bought it from Amazon. This package was, I think it was for teddy bears too. You can see there's a wire thing there on the back of it. So, but these are glass, 100% glass. These ones are, and so I, why I bought these ones, because these ones have the black in the middle already, and the outside's clear. So I can paint the outside of these any color I want to paint them. These are small ones, right? These are for like little owls, or if you want to paint it blue. What's that noise? You want to paint it blue, or you want to paint it orange, or any color you want to paint it. So all I do is just get some acrylic paint here it's a little bit of yellow your paintbrush and she like even this eye's not very good and I just paint the back of it yellow this yellow is probably a little bit bright for owl eyes but that's okay this is just an example right you might have to give it two coats. This 
So this is definitely not the paint, best paint to be doing this, but it's an example for you guys. And there's tons of them that sell on uh, Amazon that you just wipe off the sides or whatever. You can wipe it off after. So there's like a nice little yellow owl eye. And once the paint dries, once the paint dries, you just get some little clippers. And then you just go clip. That's it. There's your eye sitting over here. Let it dry. So that's how you do those ones. So like in this set, I don't. I'm. I'm not going to link it to my Amazon store or nothing. But just Google uh, Amazon glass eyes. So I got really tiny ones in here. So I think probably the best. I think probably, and this is just my opinion. Uh, this is actually a hundred percent my opinion. I think the painted eyes are better than the these eyes that have the paper on the back because this is just this is like a dragon eye or something these are all over Amazon um, you can buy in sets with different colors and stuff but these eyes are just paper that are glued on to the back so I think the best eyes that you can get are probably uh, painted on the back you gotta think well, I'm talking for outdoors here you gotta think if the paint the ink on this paper might fade what would fade first the paint that you use or the ink on the paper so I don't know I just kind of think painting the eyes would be better it's simple to paint this little one that I showed you because it's already got the black center so boom there's your yellow around it you can paint it any color you want to paint it so what this video is really about let's move all this stuff aside and um, big owl eyes no they get I'm in Canada and I know I know the people that make them they live in the States the USA and I got to pay a lot of money shipping to get them so when I'm when I'm buying a big set of owl eyes it's gonna cost me like or, or you get them off Etsy or something it's gonna cost me like thirty dollars to get a pair of like owl eyes so I said to myself well I got an eye I got a fix for that I'm gonna make my own yep so that's what I did this is just the start I've made mis some mistakes and uh, you learn the, you learn the learn the hard way so here's some glued on paper back this is not just regular paper it's like more like uh, what's it called not cardboard but it's a thicker board stuff so what I did is I bought I went to Amazon I looked and I found these on Amazon I think they were like 10 bucks for a hundred or fifty or something but you see they're flat on the back and they got a nice little shape there nice round shape for the eye so I bought these these are 30 mm okay so metric 30 mm you can buy smaller ones too I think you might even be able to buy bigger ones but you can look on just uh, Amazon glass eyes clear glass eyes you'll probably be able to find them so what I did is I called my um, well, I went to the print shop that my buddy owns in town here and I asked him if he could make me some some owl eyes here's the paper so he did I think it cost me 20 bucks I don't care so like 20 bucks 10 bucks there's 30 bucks I got like six sheets of these each so by the time I use two sets of eyes I've already all the rest is for free they might not be the goodest quality as the ones you get on Amazon because I'm sure they're I I uh, back sticky things honors but I don't know if they look pretty good to me I've done a few samples about the glue what type of glue to use there's a few things about doing these eyes that you gotta gotta be spot on so this glass it magnifies the sticker or your thing see how much bigger that pupil looks than this size okay so you gotta remember to make your pupils smaller because it magnifies it and you gotta have these a few millimeters bigger 
So what I did, I I talked to my buddy and I was there and I says, okay, I want them. My whole, I got a hole punch. I'll show you this in a minute. I, my hole punch is 30 millimeters. I took the glass things. I said, these are 30 millimeters, but I want the these things to be at 32 millimeters across. So when you use this punch, you got a little bit of extra room to move around and you won't see any white. But so what his his worker did, didn't he didn't take that 32 into countation. He just said we need them punched at 32. So then the person that was doing the program made made them like 36 or something. So they're, or maybe 34. So they added on an extra two, but it doesn't matter because then you got more room to play with your punch. So there's that, there's these. So 30 millimeter is the big glass eye and 32 millimeters because you want them to be a bit bigger for your hole punch. This is a cheap hole punch I bought on Amazon. You, I'm sure you could get a better one, but like, come on, who wants to spend a lot of money on this shit? If I get serious about making the glass eyes, then I'll buy a better one. But right now, this is just kind of show you guys and save myself a couple dollars when I want to use the, the glass owl eyes on the owls. So when you put this in here, you got to make sure it's not over here because then you're going to have a googly eyed owl, right? the center black part so you gotta try and get that nice and good so you just pop it out and boom so there's that look it's not perfect it's okay though I'll find two that are not perfect and then I'll use the two that aren't perfect and it will be a googly eyed owl so that's there too so once again this is a 30 millimeter hole punch from Amazon, I think it was like five or six bucks, maybe ten bucks. If I get more serious into this, I'll buy a better one. So here's that. Here's these two eyes. Okay? One's off a little bit. No big deal. You're gonna make so many freaking eyes if you're gonna carve lots. Of, I wanna make I'm I wanna make all these eyes so I don't have to carve eye uh, make these eyes for another five years. So I'm gonna make like a whole bunch of sets. And you know what? You guys anybody wants to get into the business of making these eyes and selling them undercut the people that are selling them on on Amazon and um, what's the Etsy because the people are selling them on Amazon and Etsy I think it's a couple husband and wife or something but I don't know but they I, I inquired a few questions about like if I buy three sets of eyes is it combined shipping or do I have to pay all because the, they charge like big money for shipping and they're pretty rude on my reply like, like gave me a two to reply answer so I was like yeah okay well then uh, you lose the business now and we're gonna make our own eyes and we're gonna show the rest of the world how to do it too so with these eyes there's different types of glue uh, like this is kinda where you know you want to get them glued on perfect too because if they're not glued on perfect they can once you put the glue on they will wiggle around a bit so then you see this paper here is like that and now your eyes pushed over to your pupils over more over that way because you didn't center it onto the paper perfect well not you I didn't center it on the paper perfect so you know you gotta get it on there good this one's the googly eye so the more time you take it doing this the better you're gonna get that's basically the bottom line so you know when you glue it on have it nice and perfect. Does that make sense? So I listened to uh, my buddy Just Carve Rob. He said that um, I talked about it in the last live that I did. He said nail polish would be good. So I went to the dollar store, got some nail polish, like the clear stuff that the ladies put on their nails dries fast. It's it's um, strong, but the problem with the nail polish is that um, it this is ink on these things obviously it made some of the things bleed I really didn't like the way it worked but I can use these eyes let me show you like here's an the example of the one that bled oops sorry but you can see all the black ink blood out there but I don't care I'll still use these eyes one day I just wasn't really too satisfied with the way it worked and it kind of seems like it um, fogged up the eye a bit 
it kind of seems like it fogged up the glass. So, but you don't know if you don't try. So that was my first try. And like I said, I'll use, I will use these eyes. So my second try was uh, Mod Podge. Just get your brush, get a little brush, right? And uh, not this one, cause it's got yellow on it, but um, get a little brush. Let's see here. Oh, I got this big brushes in here. Okay, here's a little one. So I got a little brush here. Pour yourself a little bit of Mod Podge out and wipe it on the glass or wipe it on the eye itself. But so kind of what happened with that is I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see in this video. And I, and you know, like, so I put the Mod Podge in there. It's all over the paste. They're glued together. Then I squeezing trying to get the air bubbles in it but like I said I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this video that there's, there's like little gray kind of pocket stuff I don't it's there might not be air bubbles but it just didn't and I'll still use these too but it just didn't quite uh, work for me the way I wanted it to so then I tried what else did I try? Then I tried to, oh yeah, then I, what I did is I got my glass thing here, and all I did, mix up your mod, here's a little mod podge, I got this from the dollar store, I went like this, put a little goop on there, then I got my eye, I flip it over, and put that on there, Make sure it gets all over the eye. Well, that one has. Put that on there. Where's this thing here? Here's like a computer thing. So all the Mod Podge is in there. You can see it's white. It dries clear. Make sure your eyes on there good. Put it down. What's the old saying? Forget about it. Let it dry. Because you're not going to see, it's all going to dry consistent. You're not going to see any air pockets or air bubbles in there. Here's one I did here, and you can see I offset the uh, cardboard so it's a googly eyes. It's okay. It's not that much. But there's, it's, it's perfectly black on the inside. There's no air pockets or air bubbles. Most of these I did that with. I just like, uh, filled it up with the Mod Podge and it's like a perfect eye I don't think you can get any better than that so this would cost me 20 this would cost me $25 to ship to Canada for two of these eyes so there's that way you see this thing's already sliding around a bit too but just kinda let it do its thing let it dry put them out in the sun I use this glue too this tacky glue, original tacky glue. I bought this at the hardware store. A multi-purpose glue. This is also white glue too. I don't know where the examples are that I use for this. But I'll say something right now. It did not come out perfectly clear in these eyes. Okay, like it, there was still some white inside there. It kind of looked foggy. So the best thing I've done so far was used Mod Podge. All you people out there saying, "No, oh, no, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta do this." Just, I don't care what you say. I'm doing what I want to do. But I would love to hear in the, the comments what uh, a good glue is I could use. I also got this stuff. I I do have the the Gorilla Clear glue, but I just don't know where it's gone can't find it it's like everything in my life when I'm looking for something when I'm not looking for something that's there but when I'm looking for it it's not there so I think what we'll do is we'll clean up this tip here and we will try this Elmer's um, school kids glue this clear transparent you know, I think I got this stuff at the dollar store years back 
So we'll put some of that on there. And we got some bubbles in there because, well, we did. So we got some of that on there. And we'll put the eye on here. We'll smear it all around. That's it. It's covered. So all you do is just it's in there so I think I'm gonna let these sit overnight because it's like I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you guys what time it is here but it's early in the morning I might not even sleep and go watch uh, chainsaw carving but I think I'm gonna let these sit just like this get them nice squared on there so this one will be the Mod Podge one And then this, you gotta look at it straight on. And then this one will be the, we'll just go like this. Boom, boom. That's it. So we'll come back and we'll see. Why is there a white thing in that Mod Podge one? It's a white. We'll come back and we'll see which one works better. I hope it's this because this is super easy to use. But we'll see. And I also put them on a thing that you can bend because if some of the glue gets onto the bottom of it you want to be able to peel it off without breaking the ice so you see doing that just made it even kind of tilt off to one side don't be fooled by these owl eyes you know the printing company even said well do you want really um, we can make this yellow so it's like really kind of shaded in and stuff like that but it'll be more money I says no no just just a simple way, just like that works fine for me. So let's let these dry overnight, and we'll be back and check them in the morning. Okay, so it's the, now the next day. This is the uh, Elmer's clear glue. I, I'm really uh, actually happy with the way this worked. And this is the Mod Podge. Um, you can't really see a difference on video, but this one is more clear. So I'm open to suggestions for glues. Um, like I said earlier in the video, it's tricky to make it square on the glass because you got the, the glue on the outside. You don't really see this lip hanging down. So you see the cardboard lip there. But um, the center that you can, more center that you can put these on, the more center that you can put these things on the glass, the better. And the more center that you punch them out with the punch too is better. So, I think it's a good way to save a few bucks. I don't know how many big owls I'm going to be carving. But, um, I got, no, I don't have to buy any owl eyes. I got all these ones and a whole bunch more. <laughs> so, hope it helps any of you. And you can, like I said, you can buy the small glass ones. Uh, paint them. And that's what you get too. You can paint this orange, blue, whatever color you want to paint it. Hope it uh, helps some of you out there. And, um... We'll see you on the next one. Talk to you soon. Carbon Fusion. Over and out.